What's going on, YouTube? R to the double E dash to the Z O N. Once again, bringing it real, man. You know how I do, man. Just wanted to make a video talking about what I've been enjoying lately, man. You know, I do this periodically for my subscribers, my followers, those, those who watch my videos. You know that uh, every once in a while I do a video just talking about what I'm enjoying in the video game world. And I gotta say, man, uh, this weekend I I've been enjoying Wii U like crazy, man. Uh, it's no surprise, man. I mean, it might be to those chumps out there who say that Wii U ain't got no games and the Wii U is this and it's that, uh, man, get, get out of here, I'm too busy enjoying the system to listen to your garbage, man, uh, first of all, uh, new Super Luigi U, I downloaded that DLC, that's, man, you want to talk about downloadable content, that's, for those of you who say, oh, Nintendo doesn't do that much downloadable content, and it's true in certain games, like Call of Duty, we don't have the DLC, unfortunate, and, and, and uh, Injustice Gods Among Us, we're still waiting for that DLC that was promised to us this summer, and we're in the middle, we're about to start July tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that, but... For those of you who say Nintendo can't do down downloadable content, they're behind the times, this and that. Uh, new Super Luigi U, that's downloadable content done right. That's not no bullshit patch or a fix to a game that should have never came out fucked up in the first place. No, that's a guy, that's a, that's an entire standalone fucking game for 20 bucks. 83 redesigned courses, and yes, they are redesigned because I played through New Super Mario Bros. U a couple of times, and the first time I played New Super Luigi U, I could tell that the levels were the same levels but completely redesi redesigned. Star coins uh, stashed in, lo in locations that only Luigi can get to with his special powers and with his abilities. Uh, just the whole layout of enemies and everything is just completely redesigned. Uh, it's just as beautiful as ever. 1080p, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's funny too because I was on Miiverse and I posted a, a, a screenshot of uh, New Super Mario Bros. U and I said, you know, Mario in HD, uh, beautiful visuals, 1080p. Some dude get on there, he's like, you mean 720p. Uh, I checked it, it's 1080p. That's what the game is running at. If your TV can't go that high, that's that's a whole different story. But anyways, man, New Super Luigi U is just addicting, man. I really like what they did with it. First of all, it's a it's a standalone game. That's number one. Number two, it's, it's kind of like a challenge mode, the entire game. Because from the moment you start any level, you, you realize you only got 100 seconds to get through each course instead of the usual 300-something seconds that they usually give you. So as soon as you start off the bat, you hear that music, and then everything's going fast, you know what I'm saying? You're running out of time. So it's like a challenge mode. Also, they did away with all the checkpoints. There's no checkpoints in the levels anymore where you can you know pass that flagpole, and then if you die, you start at the, at the, the next time you start that course, you'll start at that checkpoint. That's all done away with, man. It's, it's, it's extremely challenging, man. I mean... I'm not going to lie to you when I say that, you know, I was trying to get the star coins and everything, but I died and gamed over <laughs> in the second level of the game, you know what I'm saying? So, it is, it is extremely challenging, but it's super fun, man. Uh, so, that's I've been doing that. I also downloaded for 30 cents uh, Yoshi, the original Yoshi on the NES for the virtual console. Uh, I had never played that before. I was expecting a little action platformer. Man, it's a, it's a, it's a very enjoyable, intense uh, Tetris clone, you know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's in that vein. It's a puzzle-solving game. Um, very much like Tetris, but with a couple of different gameplay twists that really make it uh, challenging and, and also uh, it diversifies it from Tetris and the fact that you can, you know, you can change the way the shapes fall and you know where they land and all that uh, in a different way that you do in Tetris. But anyways, that was only thirty cents. Oh, and then I downloaded for free a game that I had always been interested in. I always wanted to play it, but never got the chance to because it was always a uh, you know ten bucks or something like that. I never wanted to spend the money. Plus, uh, there was times where I didn't have the money. But uh, Tank, 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 uh, it's for free now on the eShop, so I downloaded it. Man, me and my wife had a ball with that, man. And it's got a bunch of downloadable content, a bunch of stages that you can purchase, different arenas and things to play in. But you're talking about basically a very beautifully done, uh, crystal clear HD graphics uh, tank game where you just, you man the tank and you're shooting down enemies. You know, that's basically it. You, do, you either do a, a battle royal between you and the people who are playing or a team uh, versus match or you team up everybody against giant monsters and the shit is just fun man it's, it's it's super fun and i really like the quirkiness of it i like how it utilizes the the camera on the wii u gamepad because nothing's really done that except maybe zombie u when you're doing the when you're doing the you know the, the extra the me as a zombie where it takes a picture of you and zombifies you uh, nothing else that i've seen has really taken advantage of the Wii U gamepad's camera, and this game does that. Unless you take a screenshot of yourself with a bunch of different avatars, a bunch of different like frames that like, you could have like a you know patch, and you're at like a pirate or a space helmet or whatever, and it makes you look like a crazy ass character. So that when you're playing in the actual arena, you'll see people's pictures over their tanks. You know what I'm saying so, it was really fun, man. Me and my wife really enjoyed that one. Um, but look at that, man. That, that's Nintendo for you, man. It's value. It's it's an abundance of. Uh, 
of bang for your buck. I mean, I paid twenty dollars and thirty cents, and I got new Super Luigi U, Yoshi, and Tank Tank Tank. Boom! Three things that I was able to download and enjoy thoroughly throughout the weekend for twenty bucks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the good thing about me is that I have that terabyte hooked up to that Wii U, so I ain't never running out of space, homie. I, I'll be able to download everything that I want throughout the life cycle of this system and never come close to running out of space. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the many, 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 many things that I'm going to be downloading from the eShop throughout the life cycle of the Wii U. But yeah, man, i just been enjoying it, man. I mean, New Super Luigi U, like I said, that is downloadable content done right. That's how you do DLC. That's how you give the consumer a reason and incentive to buy DLC. Not a map pack or an extra stage. Or no, 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 no. A brand new standalone game that adds variety and challenge to the game. The game feels fresh and new because of the way Luigi controls, first of all. It's very different from Mario. The way that the levels have been redesigned. The added uh, challenge mode type feel with the less time to complete a level. No checkpoints. Very, very challenging, man. I'm, I'm really enjoying it thoroughly, man. I'm thoroughly enjoying that. Uh, I was also getting into some, some uh, Zombie U, man. I, I can't stay away from that game. I have played through that game about four times, man. And it was funny because I'm playing it. My wife is sitting, sitting next to me playing Candy Crush on the iPad. And there was a part in the game that I knew it was, I knew it was coming. But it still got me. I literally jumped. I was like, oh, shit. And she jumps off the couch. And it's like, man, a game that can still do that to you through <laughs> after the fourth playthrough. You know what I'm saying? So I was really enjoying Zombie U as well, man. I can't wait for these coming months, man. Uh, it's just going to be an onslaught of gameage, just gameage coming at the Wii U over the next couple of months leading up to the holiday season, man. I'm looking forward to, I mean, everything, man. Pikmin 3, Wonderful 101, uh, the third-party titles such as Blackli uh, Blacklist, Black Flag, um, Call of Duty Ghosts, we all know that's coming, uh, Batman Arkham Origins. I'm looking forward to all that, uh, Watch Dogs. But also, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, man. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for new Super Mario 3D World. Uh, there's just so much, man. There's so much coming for us, man. And then 2014 only looks to be epic, man. Epic. But you know what's funny? Also, man, I've, <laughs> I've been reading a lot of the news that's been going on. Excuse me. With, uh, you know, just things going on uh, when it comes to Wii U news, so to speak. And it's funny because people started slamming on Wii U and laughing when Ubisoft, of all people, said, okay, we're not going to make any more exclusives for the system until it sells more systems. But then the same people that were laughing at them didn't want to comment on when Ubisoft himself says, yo, look, as a company, we love the system and we want it to be a success and we think it's going to be a huge success. That's why we're supporting it. All they did was a smart business move. They gave us a couple of exclusives already. Zombie U was a hell of an exclusive. Now they're backing up and they're saying, look, it doesn't make sense for us to pour all our resources into one exclusive or an exclusive game that's only going to come on the system when the system's not selling. But that doesn't mean that all their multiplats aren't coming to the Wii U because we can see that they are. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no big deal. Once the Wii U starts selling the way it's going to start selling as these couple months pass by, they'll be making exclusives again. But it was funny because I was looking at EA. Let's, let's, let's follow the train of what EA has, uh, has launched at Nintendo Wii U since its launch. We start off with an unprecedented partnership. And, oh, my God, we love this system. And we can't wait to bring Madden and Battlefield and all this to this system. Then, all of a sudden, we all know what happened. Nintendo told EA to go to hell with their origin bullshit. And we're not going to be all using no origin garbage. We're going to do things our way. And EA got all ass hurt and started making up lies about how this system couldn't handle this game. And it couldn't handle this engine. And all those lies were exposed emphatically by some of their own developers. Then they turned around and said, we have no games in development for Wii U. Then Xbox and PS4 revealed what they got coming as far as new systems. And then EA turned around and said, Oh, we, we do have games in development for Wii U, just not as many as the other two systems. Now we have EA talking about, Oh, we, we, we'll, we'll come back and support Wii U as soon as it sells more systems. So here they go backtracking, backpedaling. Then all of a sudden, the last article I saw was EA has to do a major overhaul on Origin as it's not providing a very good gamer experience. And Nintendo's sitting there looking like a motherfucking genius because that's they said from the get go, we're not dealing with that origin bullshit. You can have that shit yourself. We ain't dealing with that shit. You don't like it? Don't make games on our system. We, we'll be fine. Here at EA is backpedaling, going through all their shit again. Oh no no, we are making games for them. Oh and we'll come back big time as soon as they start selling systems. Oh and origin, we, we gotta re, we gotta rehash it. We gotta we gotta uh, you know restructure because it's not providing the, the the gaming experience that we want for our, our players. 
<laughs> Nintendo sitting there looking like a boss, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's just funny, man. It's funny. But uh, either way, man, fuck EA. I don't care if they come back or they make games for the system or not. I mean, yo, for those people who do like Battlefield and would like to play it on a Nintendo Wii U, I hope they come back for you know reasons like that. People who are, can't live without Madden and want Madden on the Wii U. Um, well, you know, I hope they come back for y'all. But for me, I don't give a shit, man. I don't give a shit. As long as 2K Sports is making NBA 2K and that shit's coming out on the Wii U, I am perfectly fine. <laughs> I don't care about EA because EA Sports titles to me, ever since the end... Ever since the rise of 2K Sports and Take Two Interactive, EA Sports games are garbage. <laughs> I don't care, man. I don't care about no FIFA. I don't care about no Madden. Dude, I'd rather have NBA 2K, MLB 2K, anything sports related. 2K is better than anything sports related that EA will make. So, fuck EA, man. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I just been loving it, man. I've been there since, like I said, man. Uh, New Super Luigi U is definitely worth a download. If you guys got uh, New Super Mario Brothers U, download it as downloadable content. If not, and you still would like to play the game, it's coming out uh, later this month as a retail game with a special collector's case, uh, collector's edition green case uh, as a standalone retail game for, I think, 30 bucks. I think it is. So not even full price, man. You're getting a hell of a game. Um, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the virtual console is just coming along nicely, man. I, think they, I, 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 think, I still think they need to increase the amount of games. Uh, that they're coming out with the frequency, I should say, of these games. But I'm loving the fact that there's so many good games already on the Virtual Console. I mean, already on there. You got New Super Mario World. You got F Zero. You got Excite Bike. You got um, Super Metroid. You got uh, Super Ghouls and uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. You got a bunch of great games on there already, and it's only gonna keep coming. I mean, I heard, I read an article about Pilot Wings was supposed to be making a. Uh, a trip to the virtual console sometime this week if I'm not mistaken and we'll see if that happens it's set in North America so well, we should be seeing that soon uh, the virtual console is just it's just a it's a beautiful thing man ever since they invented that for the original Wii and now they brought the concept back for Wii U it's gonna be epic it's gonna be amazing what they gotta start doing though is they got to start bringing GameCube games to the virtual console there's got you took away backwards compatibility with the GameCube, understandably so, because it's two generations back. We get that, but still give us the opportunity to play some of those great GameCube games through the Virtual Console. That's all Nintendo got to do right there. Bring back the Sega Genesis games, the Neo Geo games, all the all the shit that they had on the original Wii's Virtual Console, which was fucking awesome, and now add the ability to play GameCube games because you got your backward compatibility with the original Wii, and you know it's, you have everything covered. So, I mean, I'm loving it, man. I'm th I, I think the Wii U is just a hell of a system, man. I can't say enough good things about it. I will tell you this, though. Keep in mind what I'm about to tell you. It's a video game system. This is what it excels at. Games. Yes, it technically has the ability to have Netflix and Hulu Plus and Amazon Instant Video and all these great media applications. That's all fine and dandy, but I'll be the first to tell you. When it comes to Netflix, the Wii U sucks. I, I, every damn near every time I try to start up Netflix on the Wii U, that shit just freezes. Every once in a blue moon it'll work. But you know what? I don't give a shit because I don't have my Wii U for Netflix. I don't have my Wii U for media features. I use my PS3 to watch Netflix or anything like that. I use my Wii U for what Nintendo is the strongest at, and that is games. So take it with a grain of salt, man. If you want a, a media box, Get a PS3, get a PS4, get an Xbox 360, Xbox One, whatever. If you want a game console, it's going to deliver smash hit games that are going to fucking rock your world. The choice is obvious. It's Nintendo. You know what I'm saying? So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless y'all. Stay gaming. Um, see you when I see you. Peace.